Good evening and welcome back. Desanova has just finished her journey across the Pale and entered Winterhold where she plans on joining the College of Winterhold. Or more accurately, soon running the College of Winterhold. Could I even go in this God's forsaken town? And what? You think that'll solve all of your problems? Probably not, but it's worth a try. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think the game is going to be bugged now. Because she'll never open up her shop um, if your conversation gets interrupted. And I haven't saved it in a long time, so that kind of sucks. I'm gonna have to look up. I think there's a way to, um, I think there's a way to fix her. But it's very annoying because she's the only vendor in this town. So she's not opening up shop. It's inconvenient being <laughs> in the Mage's Guild. Or not, it's not the Mage Guild. Um, it's inconvenient being a member of the college. Or maybe they'll finish their conversation here. I don't know. Let's check it out. No. Okay, what I'm going to do is save it here. And that's something I'm going to look up online. Alright, I, I found two possible workarounds. I don't know how console players... I mean... I, I can't imagine playing this on a console. Because if something like this, I mean, what do you do? You gotta go back all the way and reload that? My last save is in the is in a lighthouse. Okay, so start scene. This should restart their conversation. You'd have me do what? Join the college and prance about casting spells all day? Don't just walk away from me. Where do you think you're going? To the inn for a drink, of course. Where else could I even go in this god's forsaken town? And what? You think that'll solve all of your problems? Probably not, but it's worth a try. Alright, so you're going to the inn. You're going into your store. Everything should be set up fine. Everybody's closed. We'll come, we'll do what we came here for. Alright, cool. Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. Says who? I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? I suppose that's a legitimate question. Well, I want to buy stuff. Perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? 
Uh, Desanova would say. <laughs> I see. That power certainly exists, I assure you. Wield it faithfully, and few can withstand you. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Me! Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. Are you serious, lady? I'm a better mage than anyone in this college. No, I'm afraid I don't know anything of the sort. Fine. Excellent. Those invested in restoration magic find healing hands to be essential. Can you cast it on me? That would prove your skill. I can. To be honest, I'd rather cast a different spell on you. I look forward to it. I'm sure you do. Well, Feralda, you certainly have the Altmer arrogance. <laughs> down to a T here. Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Apprentice. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. <laughs> that is so humiliating. I am not an apprentice. Looks like we're going to have to swallow our pride to begin <laughs> to begin the mage's quest here. I'm not sure Desanova would have an easy time doing that. She does not like pretending to be less than she is. In fact, she's kind of the opposite. She likes to boast more than she really is. Uh, this is a very humbling experience. I gotta find someone who's sleeping. <laughs> okay, let's get this charade over with. Let's be the apprentice. Made myself rather clear. Yes, of course. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find the Thalmor received no such treatment here. You are a guest of the college, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Yes, of course. The Archmage has my thanks. Very good. Then we're done here. Eola, we're going to chomp on his bones real soon. Welcome to the college. Hello. I was told to come see you. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Yes, I'm a student. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. That's highly I'll doubtful. I'll a brief tour and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Sure. We don't love to look around. We will satisfy the necessity of looking around. Wonderful. Please follow me and don't wander off. The College of Winterhold has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the college, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. You know what, Mirabelle? Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures due to some problems with the local Nords. I never realized we how short you are. Real violence, <laughs> but it never hurts to be prepared. Look how short she is. Are you the last of the dwarves? <laughs> okay, so yeah, Desnova noticed that Thalmar. She will be inquiring as to why he's a quote guest here. 
and she will do whatever she can to uh, throw him off this cliff if that's possible. But we'll be looking into that. Our newest members are housed here in the Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside, as others may be working on research or delicate experiments. I'm pretty sure I should belong in the Archmage's Tower. Not in the Hall of Attainment. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. If we're going to have to humble ourselves, we're going to need a drink. We're going to need a couple, actually. This is humiliating. Well, if this is my stuff, I'm out to take it. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. <laughs> now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study. What do you want me to carry? Uh, Berna, I need your shop. Oh, wait, you know what? These dudes will buy all this clothes and stuff. Let's get going then. Yes, After let's. I showing you the grounds, we can talk. All right, all right, all right. Show me the grounds. Actually. There's nobody sleeping in here. I need to feed. Initially, you'll be learning from Tolfdir, one of our most esteemed wizards. Really? <laughs> Feralda, you need to do a better job dissuading the locals to come. And not only are you sure, you walk slow. Come on. <laughs> Talk dear is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. Yes, let's go and see these apprentices. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. Hey, it's a funky little robe you're wearing. I'm guessing you're someone it's important. It's no secret that the college's reputation in Skyrim is tainted. I wonder why that is. Yeah. Another new apprentice, I see. Are you of the sort that believe you're here to change the world? Or are you only in it for yourself? I assure you that I shall be watching you, all of you, very closely. Oh yeah, what were you complaining to her about? Your superior and I were simply having a discussion about my level of access to the college. Ah... Uh. You know what? I've never had this conversation, actually. I never bothered talking with him. Let's... We're both elves, right? You'll open up to me. Nothing you need to concern yourself with. I shall be quite capable of observing everything that goes on here. Uh, tell me about the Thalmor. Now that stability has been established between the Dominion and the Empire, we seek only to help Skyrim. How is that so? To guide its people through this time of transition, to help lead them to a better future. Well, that's noble of you. You may think you're watching me, pal. Desinova doesn't watch her enemies. 
She crushes them under her boots. Welcome, welcome. We were just beginning. Please, stay and listen. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Unless you can control it, it can't What you learn here will last you a lifetime. It. Several, if you're Sir, talented. I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control, mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. What? Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. <laughs> I like Jizargo. He's so exactly cool. What I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? You're asking me? Well, it's kind of funny. Um, sometimes role-playing is difficult. I think Tolfdir is actually 100% right. Uh, but Desnova doesn't think that way. Show us how to blow stuff up. Is that so? See, she agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with a demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? Ward spells? The purpose of magic is to fry your enemies. You don't need no ward spells. I don't know that crap. That's all right. I can teach you a very basic ward, one that's enough for the purposes of this lesson. Now, if you'll just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Over there, please. All right. Just me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. I think the ward spells are actually a pretty good idea. The problem is... I've seen videos of people using them successfully. I'm wondering if those videos are not representative of how wards are actually used. What I mean by that is they're very hard to use efficiently in this game because they cost a constant stream of um, magicka and they really don't block that much damage. So it's a very inefficient way to protect yourself. It's a good idea, but it shouldn't be so... What's the word I'm looking for? It's very, um, there's a lot of effort and micromanagement you need in order to use them correctly. You're negating 40 points of spell damage on master difficulty level. That may be two seconds of the shock spell, I think, because it does eight. Master is double, so that's 16 a second. So that's two and a half seconds. And your ward is gone. And it takes time to recast it again. Um, so that's a lot of effort, micromanagement, and magicka expended. Um, and you already have to repeat the process again. I think it's much more easier just to attack that wizard with an axe. Um, so they're a good idea. And I think that's what the Apocalypse spell package does. It gives mages um, more efficient ways to protect themselves using magic magic um, so i'll stop acting like a salesman for well not a salesman um, i do think that whoever wrote the apocalypse spell package does deserve props so i don't really have a problem keep telling you guys how much i like that mod because he did really did a good job but let's um let's do this ward let's get it over with now cast the ward spell and keep it up you have to keep your ward up or else this won't work I have 250 Magicka, and it's I'm already halfway down. What do I do if I want to cast like a real ward spell? 
you, well, I think this is an exactly. I, start, it's way inefficient. Practicing with wood. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthor nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. It's not only an excellent learning opportunity, Sarthal has one of my artifacts. Hold off, Toldir, Toldir. It's always encouraging to see the younger generations embracing education. Let's do business. So you wish to master the arcane arts. You're going to have to stop treating me as an apprentice. I'm already a master. Interesting. Desanova doesn't go for such subtlety, though. That's good if you have the perk, the apprentice level perk, so you can cast that at half magicka cost. But we don't have that. Again, that's an interesting... These are like... Desanova is not this subtle in her approach. So although these are very useful spells, she's not going to buy them because that's just not her philosophy to win fights or mage duels through subtlety. She's much more direct. In fact, I think this is a very good spell to use against Falmor or Bandit Chiefs who like to power attack. Um, in fact, that's a really good spell to use in that instance. Um, we're just going to sell stuff to you, Tolf Deer, because we're not really appreciative of the um, alteration tray. You can have that. And let's sell you this all this uh, attire we picked up in our room. I don't need that. Oh, you even buy vampire armor? Cool. Uh, Eola's got all my staffs. No, I'm going to use those scrolls eventually. I don't know if I... I think that means I looked at it. I'm going to double check, though, because I want that spell. All right, then. Okay, do have it. Hold on, we're not done. Be here for you. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Mm -hmm. You know what? Let's, um... It's been a long time since I cast that spell. Let me see exactly what I can do with Limited Wish. It's hard to use in a battle because it's got that long casting sign. Yeah, you need to be have a higher level in a print or the alteration tree to get more options. I'm only I think I only have like 30 something. So you could miss for your magicka back or you can miss for your health back. Let's switch to our magicka back. It gets more options as your alteration skill increases. Education is never appreciated until after the fact. Young people never understand this. You know, Tolf Deer is actually very wise. Because <laughs> he's right about that. Okay. The reason why uh, we humbled ourselves voluntarily is because I want to buy some real spells. And that's done right here. What do you want? What can I 
sell that. Sell those. Uh, you'll uh, let you keep that. I think that's all you got. That I, oh wait, I don't know if they'll buy these. I can't what carry them anyway. Oops. Really? I can't take that. Mirabel does a fine job as Master Wizard, I suppose. Still, there's always room for improvement. Ah, uh, yes. The Altmer arrogance. I can't wait to see who succeeds Mirabel. I've no doubt she'll be promoted to Archmage at some point. You know, you know, I gave you a hard time at the end, at the entryway. I, but I can respect her all the. So you wish to master the arcane arts? I should say Desinova can respect her. Well, I suppose I can too. She's actually one of the better uh, characters in the college. Now this is something. If I had the alteration skill to cast better mage armor, this would probably be a better value than the armor I'm wearing. But that's, we haven't been doing that. So at this point, it's not really an avenue I can take. Hmm, that's actually an interesting staff. The only problem with staffs, sometimes they're tricky to aim and use. I usually have enough magicka to heal my allies. I don't know if I remember ever not having magicka to do that. I'm going to pass. If I didn't have as much magicka, that would be definitely something I'd buy. Okay, for all the... What do we have here? I do want that as an opening. That's a pretty neat spell. I'm, we're just... We're not really an ice user. Well, I said we're not an ice user, but what I like about this spell is if you cast the Frost Atronach, you can just kind of keep... <laughs> Casting this without worrying about your summons, uh, but we're we're more of a lightning person We'll take it. I know it has limited application, but if we're going to be a lightning user, we might as well have all the spells associated with it. See you around. All right, let's learn those. Oh, sure. Just sit down on a job. Sweet rolls, tomatoes. I need tomatoes for my horker stew. That's why I'm taking them. 
Don't like those eyes you've got. There's a bad hunger to them. All right, well, we don't like you. Oh, hey there. If you require assistance with summoning techniques, please let me know. If you would, please also contain your summons to the college grounds. The locals do not need to be agitated further by Atronachs roaming their town. The summoning of undead is even less advisable outside the college. Now that's interesting. I was under the impression that necromancy was something frowned upon by institutions devoted to magic. By sure no. Those archaic policies died out with the Mages Guild and were never enforced here. Necromancy, as any other type of magic, is a tool to be used. Of course, non-mages may not see it that way, so we don't go around flaunting it. All right, Finnis. I think Desnova can respect you. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? I do. Okay. We want books. I wonder... If this is a way for conjurers to do damage without using the um, destruction school. So if I'm looking at this right, I think you'd have to re... I don't know if this is a... If it's, the spell stays in effect and every time they get hit they take this damage or if it only happens once then you have to recast it. If it happens once, that basically does 45 damage I know it, ca it tar marks them for 60 seconds. You know what? We'll, we'll buy it. We'll, I guess that's part of the fun in this mod. You, learn, you just kind of learn what they can do. It's a neat idea, so we'll give it a shot here. It's a thousand gold, but I, we've got enough to, to deal with it. Not really into bound weapons. I, as I say, I think the weapons you find are better than what you can um, conjure. Uh, we, again, we have the Soul Trap spell. It does that. That's what I want. Bam. Talked about that. I can never... You have to be really close. And half the time you get caught in the explosion. It's a nice idea, though. It really is a nice idea. I, I might try that later on. Uh, I do. I don't want to just spend a thousand dollars, just <laughs> experimenting. I when I have a lot more money, I'll give that another shot. I. This is a neat idea. If you really just want to play a necromancer, this gives you a corpse where there was none. Again, the problem with this game is. Or the problem, it's not the game, the problem with the theory behind the Conjuration School is there's not, you don't get a lot of value for specializing in necromancy. So it's a good idea, but we'll just summon an Atronach. Another way for Conjurers to do direct damage without using the, um, the Destruction School it's good for pure mages who stand back away from the combat, but since we're right in there, we don't have need for that. That's a neat idea. We'll take that. I talked about that spell. I'm. They're too weak. They don't last long enough. Okay, Finnis, we're done. All right, then. I don't want to weigh my downs, weigh myself down too much. All 
All right, there's one more lady we need to see. Hopefully she's sleeping. I need to feed on someone. Unfortunately, she's not she's not even there. Oh, they, okay. The person I wanted to see most was Colette. Because I think she's the only one that sells Adept level of print. If you're a beginning mage, it's worth stealing that. There's actually a, a Frost or a Summon Atronach. I think it's Frost Atronach in a mage's office. Again, if you're a low level mage, those staves are money. Okay, I don't know where Colette is. I'm guessing she's outside. She's the one I really wanted to see the most, actually. But let's, uh... Learn those spells we got from Finnis. Colette, Colette. She often hangs out in here. Yeah, okay. Restoration is a perfectly valid school of magic, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You consider restoration a valid school of magic? Worthy of study? Don't you? Don't you? Um, yeah. Good, good. Not that I require validation, of course. There are just some, and I shan't name names, who would disagree. It can make life difficult when one's colleagues fail to recognize the research one engages in. I suppose it could. Um, okay. Tell me your story. Well, no, not really. Not directly, I mean. But I know things are being said behind my back. Conversations cease when I enter rooms. I'm quite aware of what's going on here, and I will not stand for it. Like, whenever the guards say, uh, you know, the Restoration school, school, I have a lot of respect for that. Skyrim can use more healers. It's definitely a reference to her. Um, okay, well, we just want to buy spells from you. We're not here to validate your research. Take a look. Now that would be a neat, when I was 5th um, and 6th level, when I had no magic of the soul trap things, that's when that would really come in handy. Um, we don't need that anymore. Alright, we're going to buy a lot of shit from you, I think. Great spell, if you are a pure mage who stands back from the fray. This is what Turn Undead should have been. That's 160 hit points of damage from an apprentice level spell. It's certainly a lot of value. It does take a long time, but that's such a good value. And I do like the restoration tray, our school. So we're going to buy that. Great spell if you're a mage. You get this a lot quicker than you get that illusion perk. And plus that illusion perk has a lot of prerequisites. 
That's what I wanted. Really neat idea. <laughs> really neat. Problem is, is if I have that low health, I don't want to fuck around. I just want to heal myself. And plus, a lot of times, the things you're fighting, they'll have like 50% health. I'm not going to spend $1,000 for it. If I do acquire this tome in my travels, I'll use the spell then. But most of the time, I think in a heat of battle, it's just easier to cast healing. An upgraded version of... Um, what's, what's the... Um, Slay Living. I'll take it. I'm not a fan of random. It's a great idea. I just don't like randomness. When I cast a spell, I want to know what it's going to do. Considering how often I go through followers. It doesn't save them, though. It just delays the death. Uh, this would have been nice before I became a vampire. Trade stamina for magicka. There'll be times I want that. It's a lot of health you gotta sacrifice. Fuck it. Alright, we're done. Until next time. Now I just spent about twelve thousand septums total <laughs> in spells. Chanting services are one of the few things that keep us in touch with the rest of Skyrim. Okay, so what am I going to do next? I think I'm going to go right to Sarthal. Again, that amulet of Golder. I think that's how you say his name. It would be something Desnova would be very keen to acquire. Um, it just coincidentally happens to be the first thing we got to do here. So we'll do that, and then I think I'll hit Redwood, Redwater Den um, for the vampires. But we still got more stuff to sell. <laughs>